Welcome everyone to another episode of the Victoria Magazine and it is November of 1991. Beautiful ways to embrace the holidays and herb lovers Thanksgiving. So this is the Thanksgiving issue which I think is going to be super fun. Also we are doing cold weather which is lovely. It's still extremely hot outside. My AC unit is still going and it is what it is. But you know what? Fall will soon be here and I'll be talking about how cold it is. So I love this. Isn't that um, Queen Anne's lace, I think, right? Here we go. Oh, if you guys are noticing the little fairies on the side, this is actually an original strip from my bedroom when I was six, I think. And thankfully, my mother, when she stripped the wallpaper off later when I was a teenager and no longer wanted fairy wallpaper, she saved a bit and then gave it to me and I managed to keep it my whole life. So favorite, favorite thing in the world, those little fairies. And I do have a thrifting episode coming up where I was at a thrift store and I did see the prints of these little fairies in photos for $3 a piece. And I sure wish I had purchased them. I didn't. At least I filmed them, but they're so cute. Brought back so many memories. In the meantime, I have my little strip here. Can you imagine drawing with this? So you had to have, with your feather pen, right? You had your inkwell, and then you had your separate duster, kind of similar to the salt and pepper shaker where you had like a shaker and you would dust out the talcum powder and then blot it, I think, if I'm correct. Or did you just have a blotter? I don't know. But my goodness, lots of different ways to write on paper. Quite complicated, actually. Oh, these right here, these are those really cool books that once I finish with all of the magazines, I'll start looking for the books and then we'll go through the books together, which I think would be really fun. I've always wanted these since I was reading the episodes as a teen. I was like, oh, if I could only have the books. And I never even got one. So I'm excited to start hunting for those. What are we going to see in this episode? We're going to look at Thanksgiving, right? Look, I love that so much. Okay, so here, oh my goodness. When I was back in Salem in Oregon, we would get like the little tiny ones here. Every, everywhere. Because we're on a mountainside. Everywhere are those ginormous pine cones. Do I have one handy? I don't have one handy, but like massively mega pine cones. And I wish I could think of a way to use them because they're just all over the ground and then they break down and decompose back into the earth, which is good for the earth. But I'm looking at those massive pine cones and I'm like, ooh, what should we make? Something fun. Look at this. Look at the old little suitcases. Here you have your canes. Is that a bar specifically made for canes? That is interesting. I wonder if it is. I love the tartan behind the little plaid. And look at the blue and white. It's so gorgeous. I'm not sure if I can. I don't think I'm going to decorate for Christmas this year. And I feel really, really sad about it. But we just don't have an area we can decorate. It's, it's such chaos. Look at these blankets piled with a blanket. That's a really cute way to store them with just your ribbon over like that to gather it together. And look at the trunks. I love old trunks so much, so much. I think I'll keep an eye out at a flea market. And speaking of a th flea market, oh my goodness, I am so excited. So coming up, oh my gosh, look at this collection here at the little basket. I love that. Coming up on Labor Day, I, how many weeks away is that? A couple weeks or a week and a half? There is in the old mining town, which I've been filming lately and posting little clips of the buildings there. Look at this layout. Oh, looks so yummy. Yummy. That looks like spiced cake, is it? Look at the dresses. Oh my gosh. Can you look at that? All of the all the ribbon. So they have they're having a massive, massive sale. I like a flea market sale. And I'm so excited to go and film it. I think there's going to be an amazing amount of old items there and I just cannot wait to see what I'm going to find. I love that, the layout there. Look at this cascade of fabrics. Oh my gosh, stop it. Look at that dress. 
Mm. Oh my goodness, their outfits and their hair. Oh, that brings back so many memories for me. Of course, I was never that cool growing up at all or that stylish, but I looked at people who I thought were pretty amazing. Look at those cute little shoes. Oh, I love lace work. Look at how gorgeous is a swan. Look how dainty that is. Have you ever watched people create lace? It is amazing. Go on YouTube, you guys. Search in lace maker or it is crazy how they make lace. It is so intricate with these little like spindles and like little like strings and they weave them around in a pattern. I don't think I could do it. I'm not that intricate, but it's fascinating. And that is such an 80s outfit, even though it is 91, right? Oh my goodness. The green with the velvet. Gorgeous. Look at these colors, the soft camel color. Look at the cream and or ivory and a little peeking of lace. So elegant. And the puff, remember the poof. How could we have forgotten about the 90s poof, you guys? That was extremely important. And you didn't go anywhere unless you had the poof, unless you had hair like this. My hair was long, so I had it pooped. Look at that frothy lace. Don't you love it that the bows are coming back again? As a new trend for all the young people out there who never saw the original trend. It's a new trend. It's high fashion. Why, yes. Yes, it is. Look at that beautiful curly hair. So gorgeous. I love flowers so much. I love how they can be woven. So speaking of my fairy cottage, which we haven't spoken of it, but I will be posting a video shortly. And the entire inside ceiling is covered in flowers. Of hanging flowers that have dried, of course, because it's a thousand degrees outside, but it is I can't wait for you guys to see it. And I wish I could capture it on film how gorgeous it is in real life and I, I just simply don't think I can. I love that painting. I love the texture painting. So this is something that I stumbled across lately. The texturing painting. Have you guys seen that where you can use, um, ah, oh, there's a word for it. Spackle, spackling painting or that heavy paste painting. You can buy it. It's a thick texture. It's not, it's not like the acrylic. I think it's like a thickened acrylic but it's almost like a layering where you pile on textures and I want to try it so bad. Deep in the woods, a holiday feast. That is so inviting. Oh my goodness. That's so inviting on the point of land that parts the gray waters of Saint of New York's Saranac Lake. Silence sifts down with the snow till all the world is white. Oh, it's some white snow right about there, please. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at the I love the birch, the birch logs so much. I am so excited. I'm pretty sure that my fairy cottage is going to stay up. We will be able to decorate it for each holiday. Oh, I wish you guys could like come over and sit and chat with me in the fairy cottage. I've been spending every moment of my time out there. I will be editing the video out there in the fairy cottage. Oh, this beautiful. I just love all these warm autumny tones. Autumnal tones. Excuse me. Thank you very much. And look at how shiny. I have a silver setting that I need to polish. It's so tarnished. White. See, these are the colors in my fairy cottage. The whites and the mustard tones and just a hint of green. So, so good in there. With your like little cottage decor and grandma, I like Afghan crocheted blankets and oh, just like my favorite things. I'm so glad I was able to make it. Look at that gorgeous archway. 
it didn't originally have a door and my son went out there and he's like you know what mama we really need a door out here and I'm like okay and I wove a door I did I wove a door <laughs> that sounds so funny when I say it but I did and I was so surprised it turned out it's not a super strong door it's kind of flimsy but hey it's a door I love all these colors the tones of autumn and here's our our front page with just, I love how they did the front page. So it's just, a, it's more of your neutral tones. And then you have just a hint of color popping through, which I was able to pick out here. I always like matching the color um, photo to my little layout. Just a simple layout. I love how she picked up her skirt and the little lace is kind of peeking through. The lace seems to be a trend that's going throughout this whole um, episode that beautiful basket lovely old photos I love photos I love faces the splendor of apples oh my this looks delicious look at that lace work and it says a quartet of pleasingly plump apple dumplings await a luxurious whipped cream garnish yes please I made myself the most amazing yummy breakfast this morning whipped cream over strawberries with kind of like a graham cracker crust and i brought it out into the fairy cottage i set it there i went back inside to grab some coffee and i think i got distracted with a conversation with somebody when i went back out the cat had eaten it had licked the whipped cream clean and i was like oh my poor breakfast looks so yummy doesn't it Oh, I love the color tones. They did such a clever job in bringing in the ribbon with matching this. And I love the shades of burgundy and purple tones and red. I love how they kind of mixed all those colors together. As you can tell, if you didn't know yet, I am a lover of colors. I love colors so much. All different textures, all different patterns of colors. Patterns, is that the right word? Palette, I guess dried stuff on that dried goodness oh, oh. oh my goodness it makes me want to forage again I spent a couple days in the forest foraging though for the fairy cottage and I'm a little bit done with foraging plus like I've said probably three billion times it's about a thousand degrees outside in Spokane so not gonna be foraging today I love red hair I've always loved red, red hair because it's colorful mine is brown in case you didn't know, very dark brown. This is really fun. Have you ever tried making flowers out of velvet? I love the play of colors. So you don't paint them, but you have the background of the velvet. Velvet creates its own shadowing and shades with the light as it hits. I think that's beautiful and lovely. Oh my goodness, oh, look at those old dresses there. So much fun. Part of me wishes we could still dress like this and the other part of me is so thankful that we have the freedom to move our bodies and not be constrained by all of the different camis and, and just different things that they would wear, layers and layers. I love the old buttons. Move that into. an open house and an open heart look at that old paint palette the dark rich tones you know what this is missing it's missing some green plants to kind of warm it up a bit I think but again, I could be wrong. Maybe the green plants are here in the paintings. Wow, those are amazing. Somebody painted those, all those different panels. That's incredible. A meeting of mines and gardens. Look how fun this looks here with the baskets and your greenery. What is this? Okay, when autumn comes, a delectable caramelized onion tart. Have you guys 
Have any of you tasted an onion tart before? I have not. And champagne cocktails. That sounds delicious. I wonder if they'll have a recipe. Oh, this inspired me. Okay, well, what inspired me? Here's a little slip of paper. It has nothing written on it. I don't, was it this? The ice cream? I don't, I'm not feeling inspired. So I don't know. I don't know what was going through my mind back then. The colors, maybe? I don't know. Well, that, that could definitely be inspiring as like a Thanksgiving feast. Oh, speaking up. So I've been collecting little plates of China, little bits, little bubbles and bits and whatnots to decorate for a picnic, which I really wanted to do. And now that I have my fairy cottage set up and a little table out there, I can now decorate and create little vignettes for tea for the day or whatever I feel like. And I'm so excited. So this is actually really inspiring. You see all these different layers. So my area is quite small, but with the use of height and layers, I think I could create quite a gorgeous vignette. So we will see what I post in the future as I come up with different ideas. Let's see, here is the recipe. So we have apple dumplings, chestnut apple stuffing, a holiday feast, turkey gravy. Here we go, caramelized onion tart. How do we make this? Two cups of flour, salt, butter, and that's it for the shelf. The onion and thyme filling. Okay, we need butter, onions, uh, lemon thyme, vinegar, egg yolk, and cream. That's really easy. Here's gonna go ahead and make that and post it. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not a very good cook. I could follow this recipe and I doubt we would turn out very well. I'm learning how to bake cakes, but that's about my extent at this moment. Speaking of, we can make an apple cake right there. That looks delicious. I love nutmeg. So that would be fun. Even calls for some brandy. This must be your holiday cake. What is the glaze? Jelly brandy garnish and whipped cream for garnish as well. That I could do. I need to go through and start marking the different recipes that I want to try. And if they turn out, if they turn out, if they don't turn out, I will not be posting them. But if they do, then I could reference it and be like, hey, remember when we made when we read, you know, that November issue back in 1991? Well, I made it and here it is. It'd be kind of fun. I love these layouts. I'm kind of, yeah, look, look at the glare. I was just going to say, I'm kind of worried that the light from the window is glaring. I wonder if there's a special soft light I can get that won't glare. Oh, I love these layouts. These are so much fun to look at. Maybe if I press the page so it doesn't quite. Maybe if I lift. Oh, there we go. Okay, if I lift it. I don't think it's glaring, is it? I don't think so. It's just a little bit off center. All right, but I love looking at these. So if you look, you'll see all these tiny little scissors. I don't know what those are. Look at this beautiful piece. Looks almost like it has diamonds. We're just going to say it has diamonds in there. The little photographs, a cameo. Oh. I love cameos and here you have that I'm not sure what that is you have this is that a mirror you have your eyeglasses a frame this little keepsake something here's your little locket pearls silverware I just love how they put all these together so much fun maybe if I hold this up for you guys you can see it quite a little bit better and there's another one as well. You have your little lace bits, your little purse that's embroidered, probably with beads. And even the little, the ribbon unrolled. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. Griswold Museum. There's something really fun about that name. It's quite menacing. Ooh, 
Ooh, this also inspired me and I can see right away what it actually did, but look at that twisted wreath. So I think, so here's my little note. So we actually had two inspirations, which is fun. This looks like a wreath, doesn't it? Just laid, laid, laying, laying down, laid, laid, there we go. I'm trying to check the camera for that for you guys. Okay, it looks like it's just laying. I think that's late. Anyways, we're moving, moving past that. But they decorated it with all these glorious little bits of vegetables and then they set the soup inside. And it created this gorgeous centerpiece. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, that was very cleverly done. And I think that's neat. My goodness, they were fancy. Look at that. Look at those beautiful teacups. The things that people think of sometimes just blow me away. They're so amazing how their minds work. Like, how did you think to do that? Here we are, two advertisements. More advert, more. And more. And more. We always have that one little art. Oh my, that does not look so happy. All right, let's see. A family memoir. We lost Aunt Mary last summer. On a hot July day, she was buried in a little cemetery on a windy hill in Redfield, Iowa, where for dozens of Memorial Days, we have carried flowers to the resting places of all the Benison and Walton kids. Aunt Mary was 93, the last of her kind, the last of those who will return to Redfield. Going on as a family will be so very difficult without her, and at no time of the year will it seem so lonely as during the holidays. I know there is something about a holiday, isn't it, that triggers so many memories and makes it tough. We have um, Thanksgiving coming up and my family is in Oregon so it's just me and my husband and children here in Montana luckily we did make friends so we have plans to do things with our friends but it's still it's hard to not have family around thank you everyone next time speaking of family we will be joining or you will be joining me and I will be reading we'll be all together looking at December the very last year of 91 so See you in a couple days and goodbye for now.